when I started, you know, making my first prof professional contract and stuff like that. Hold again. <laughs> but I think that, you know, when I won the World Junior Championships and starting, starting to do well in the senior category as well, like for the age groups over me, I realized that I could really get far and um, started to really believe that I could could live off playing badminton. Um, definitely when I came over to Copenhagen and practiced with the best players in the country and uh, traveled to Asia for the first time and stuff, that was definitely the turning point where I was like, okay, now I'm here and now I'm able to uh, to really live live my dream out and um, and and do what what I've always dreamt of. So that was definitely a, a turning point for me. You know, from a pretty young age, as you say, I started having pretty you know a, like good success in my uh, in my age group, and I did well at the international tournaments as well. Around, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did well in my uh, in in my age group as well. And since then, I've you know gotten the question don't you miss you know going to parties or hanging out with your friends and stuff like that but the question you no know, the answer has always been the same and that is that i got so much uh, good things good things you know from my badminton and so much experience and so much fun that i never even spared it a thought that i missed out on on a lot because the chance of pursuing my yeah, Hey, oh, thanks. Uh, no, I don't have any regrets because I got so much from badminton and I've learned so much. Um, so I'm really happy and privileged that I got that opportunity. Obviously, my dad uh, became my my manager also when I started making just a little bit of uh, of money on playing badminton and became a professional uh, player. Um, I remember it was my first contract uh, back in 2009 or so uh, when I was like 15 or so. Um, and since then, he has been taking care of all my all my sponsorships, all my uh, things outside the court, and has been a huge help. Um, and people uh, is sometimes and and uh, especially back then. So, oh, can you both be a, a dad and a son and then work together? And I think you know, if you find the right balance, like my dad and I have, um, I don't see it as an issue at all. I've never been paced. I haven't. There ha hasn't been one time where where my mom or dad has been like, "You have to go to practice. You have to practice this, or you have to practice." Uh, you know, uh, several times uh, during the week and stuff like that. It has always come. You know, you know, been something which came from inside of myself, and you know, it has always been me who wanted to practice more, 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 and always had fun. And uh, you know, nowadays I see a lot of parents who are thinking a lot about: Are my kid using the right racket? Uh, does he or she, um, you know, get enough individual practice sessions and stuff like that? And I didn't get any individual sessions when I was a young kid. So times are definitely changing, but it's just to say that. But did they do anything to, uh, to motivate you? My dad, you know, he he drove me around the country and participated in all the tournaments and uh, you know weekend after weekend he was a big part of it and um, huge support for my mom also so they have always been motivating me and when I lost a match I sh you know didn't think I should have lost they have always been uh, a big motivation and never got angry with me so I think it's okay as a parent to you know tell your kid that you don't like if they don't do their best However, you know, I've always done my best and they have always known how much I would, uh, you know, like to win. So it hasn't really been an issue for me. Um, but I do think that living here in Denmark and seeing kids and stuff, it has to come from within. You can't make your kid love whatever sport it is. If, if, if they don't love it, they won't be successful because successful is not only, you know, achieving great results. Success is having fun while you while you do it and while you chase your dreams. And is that something you're you're considering? 
bringing on to Vega. Definitely, you know, I don't care if Vega wants to be a artist or musician or yeah, athlete, you know, I, of course I would love if she wanted to do something with a racket and I would be there by her side to help her a lot. And obviously, if she decides to be an artist or a, a musician, you know, that isn't, uh, isn't really of much use. Uh, so I hope she's gonna, gonna like a sport and uh, wants to see how far she can get in her athletic pursuits. Um, however, whatever she chooses, I'm happy with and uh, I'm just excited to, uh, to see her grow and uh, try to help her as, as much as possible. And on the other side, you know, even though she chooses a, a field, you know, which I'm not an expert in at all, the mindset and, and uh, how you go around becoming good at something is something I do think I have a lot of, of experience in, so I can give that on uh, yeah, you at least. Yeah, in that area I can definitely be of support, so uh, I'm looking forward to it and actually, you know, I see raising a child as the biggest privilege uh, you can get and um, I'm, uh, I'm ready for it.